I want well, to see we, if it's the same well, one. It looked just like a plain building, uh, like a warehouse or something. And then yep. there was also, we drove into some place. It looked like it didn't have a door to it. It looked like an empty barn. And then once we didn't know why we were in there, and then we drove out, and then some red lights went off, and we were in a forerunner, and we were, we left because we didn't know what to do or why we were out there. And huh. so then somehow I was put in touch with this woman named Beth in uh, Tucson and, and who were new to these contacts. I don't even know how I was doing it. You know, kind of like you a little bit. I do. Because we tease to do it to you. I call them these well, yeah. but they'll that, that's direct they you to it. put the pieces she, together. That, that's right. That's right. And she was telling me that her father had been one of those German scientists that had come over with Einstein and some of the others and had Paper helped clip. Uh, with the, mm-hmm, exactly, and to uh, go into the portals and to if they wanted to go through the portals, they could. And she saw her own father do that. And she said it was very painful to break down the material body to do that. And uh, I I forgot her last name. And I wonder that this very day she said, you're young. And she said, you're very um, curious and you're a seeker. She said, you need to meet David Childress. And I said, who's that? She said, well, he is... um, he explores like you do and researches, and he is, lives in, in Illinois, and that's it. So she mentioned just a few names. And then later, after they put me together with Starworks and Paula and everything, then everything fit together. All the pieces came together. Because, well, not all uh, of them, but, not and, yet. Wait till you get all this part. <laughs> not all of them. Not all of them. I know. And then, yeah, because I had a student come from a Unity Church, and from from a sermon from there, and she came to her lesson with me, and she said, "Guess what? They have a UFO conference in Glenrose." I said, "Are you kidding?" And so I had I told you about that that I had uh, was. When, when the Stephen Bill lights came on, and I was working with that CEO and Robert and the the the, uh, the uh, our CPA said, don't let her go out there because they'll fire her. And uh, he he said, you can't do it. He said, you can't because you promised, you know, Randy, that you'd go through with these projects. And I said, okay, I won't. And he said, if you're supposed to be tied in with it, it'll come to you. So then three day, three years later, in 2012, is when Judy came in from her session at the Unity and t- said, we, there's a UFO conference in Glen Rose about Stephenville Lights. So I said, well, let's pick up the phone and call and get a reservation. So we did, and Paul answered the phone, and she was from Rome and here, and then I had lived in Rome. We spoke a little Italian, and she said, you're my speaker down there. I said, are you kidding I said, I've never spoken in front of a group of people like that. And she said, I'm going to do it for you. You're supposed to do it. You'll be it. And I had just published my CDs, and uh, it was everything just spins real fast, you know. And, I mean, I've done a lot of family of origin counseling, worked with families and, you know, that sort of thing, but never two or 300 people. And so I did, and and I was really scared to death, and it was I looked terrible, and I was swollen from my autoimmune stuff. And uh, but anyway, she was fantastic, and she introduced me to the next big step. And all of her conferences are really fantastic. I mean, she's great. And I haven't met her. She. Me. Janet has. Janet. Now, see, I've never been in any UFO stuff. I was never allowed. I don't know if it was the government or the ETs probably the government. or well, probably it's, it's interesting. And I just want to let you know that we're well, off the air right now. We're, this is going into recording, but we're off the air. We, we're not, oh, we are. Not they hadn't oh, cut right us right off now. yet? Got, let me look off. at mine. They oh, haven't yeah. kicked us off. I don't Normally they I don't kick know us off. I don't know if we're... Yeah, we're still huh. recording. Yeah, but we could it, get kicked. Oh, I don't know. Don't. Well, do you want to but, do this again, but at the Karen? Very end, uh-huh, yeah, go I ahead. Because she's right? just getting into her. Paul, we'll do, uh-huh. Y'all, that's yeah. Paula Harris, right? You're talking about Paula Harris? 
because you did, you yeah. just said Polly. Uh-huh. Yeah, so let's see these for oh, teasers. I'm sorry. Teasers for next week. Let's do let's do this for teasers because I don't know what was. I mean, I, don't I think we've got a lot of pieces of the puzzle. To, I think we've got a lot of pieces of this puzzle coming together, and it's yeah, like there's a, a lot of mine. Like little by little. The three of us are together for a reason because when I was sitting back listening, I could just feel a lot of ETs and different dimensional things shifting in here and everywhere. And I mean, you know, I can just tell you so much. Uh, I know Robert and I were driving to Houston and we lost three hours and we were just, we weren't going to Houston. And we ended up halfway in Houston and we just went up the streets. Yeah, I'll, I'll, so we lived in Houston. A lot lost that. time in Houston. I, I lost a lot of time yeah. in Houston, and they would show well, me see, these I spin things. That, they spun yeah. a merry-go-round, and I think I would ask if that was happening, or or they'd turn all the lights off or on. So I learned to talk to them by. Uh, to anybody else, you can't tell them this, but you know, if we're going to tell this story, we might as well put all the 